I often see people doing a crappy job when they transition from Manta Hitch to Clove Hitch. Today we should change that. Hey guys, welcome to the high ground. My name is Fabio and today we're again doing a little bit of rope work. The topic of today's video will be transitioning from Munter Hitch, with which you can belay people, to a Clove Hitch, which you can use to secure people to your belay. If you're not sure how to tie a Munter Hitch or how to tie a Clove Hitch, this is not really the content of this video. I made two separate videos, one on the Munter Hitch and one on the Clove Hitch. I will link them in the description below. If you have any uncertainties about those two knots, please just check those videos out. For the topic of this video, you can see we have a mantra hitch here. And that can be used to belay our climbing comrades, our friends up, well, often a mountain, right? This is not very often used for actual climbing anymore, but more for mountaineering. And um, we will have to talk a little bit about safety and different standards for climbing and mountaineering, but uh, for that a little bit later. First, I'd like to show you what I often see. So people have this Munter hitch, they belayed their friend up to the point where they want to have them or even their guest, right? And then they need to tie off that Munter hitch somehow. Well, you can of course take this rope and just try, um, change it to a clove hitch like this and it works. It is a proper clove hitch, but it is pretty messy if you look at how the knot actually looks. Another version that I often see is that people start tying off the mantra hitch by putting a loop in here and that's also a possibility. But first, as soon as you pull on that rope, the loop will open, so you have to protect it with an additional carabiner. And also it's, well, it's just a tied off mantra hitch and not actually a knot that is meant to um, tie somebody to a belay. I propose going down a different route and having an actual safe transition from mantra hitch to clove hitch. In order to do that, I need to have the gate of the carabiner open. And I know that this can be an issue for people because I'm actually opening the belay chain. And that's not something you generally want to do. You want to have things um, that people are tied to always be closed. So it wouldn't be something that I would do, for example, in multi-pitch climbing, <clears throat> but in mountaineering, if you just belay somebody up a little bit more difficult section and you reached even ground where you can stand easily, I think it's a valid option to just open up the carabiner because anything else of the knot will stay intact. That means this is the breaking end of the rope with which I actually belay my friend that is on the other end and I will never have to let go of this end until the conversion to the clove hitch is actually completed. I might take off my hand from that rope just so that you can see better what I'm actually doing. But as I said, it's not necessary. You can hold on to the rope all the time and do the transition with your other hand. Now, how do we do that transition? We take the breaking rope and put it in here. Then we have to get this loop into the carabiner. And now pay attention, don't do it like this. You have to give it a twist and do it like this. It's in there, you pull on it, and you have a perfect clove hitch. It's easy, it's quick, you don't have any issue with the mantra not being tightened because you can hold on to the breaking rope and you still have a very clean clove hitch afterwards in your carabiner. Let me show you again. 
now with the emphasis of I don't let go of the breaking rope. So anything that happens here with my friend, I still have him on belay while I do the transition. I put the loop in here and then I just go up, put that in here and I still have the breaking rope. Only now when it's actually already completed the transition to the clove hitch, I let go of it because there is already a clove hitch and nothing can happen to my friend anymore. Okay, then I'll show you the details. Okay, now in detail, we have the mantra hitch, we have the breaking end of the rope that I can hold on to all the time. And then I'll put that end in here. Now I will let go of the breaking rope so that you can see what I'm actually doing. I have this loop here and I just put it into the carabiner. It comes from here, up here. Let me show it again so that you can really see it. It comes from here, up here, like this. And now we're in there, pull on it, and here we have our clove hitch. Great. So this was a little bit a shorter video, but I found this very, very useful for general purpose mountaineering for outdoors. If even if you have to move something that is heavy and you want to secure it with a mantra hitch while you move it up, then you still can easily transition to a clean clove hitch and you don't have to really well mess around with tying off the roads, additional carabiners or having crappy knots in there but you can have a clean knot and look like the professional you should be. I hope you guys found this video helpful. If yes, please leave me a thumbs up. That helps the video getting more viewers. Follow the channel if you didn't do so. Click on the alarm bell and I'll see you next time.